What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back with another video, we got Magic Johnson and Larry Bird on Letterman Part One. Now, if y'all new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Appreciate y'all for tuning in to the King Supreme Gang. Back with another video. Back with another reaction today. We got them boys, Magic and Larry Bird on the Letterman Show. It's gonna be a great one today. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Y'all put me on to this one. Y'all said I should get to the label. I didn't even know they was on David Letterman. Had anything like this, but hey, we gonna see it today. I'm very, very excited. Y'all been putting me on to the cool of stuff you feel me so hey I, i'm 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 down for it you understand what i'm saying i'm down to react to whatever so please keep letting me know down below in the comments what videos you want to see next y'all know the deal is we're on the road to 100k so uh, i'm gonna keep on posting these bangers i'm gonna keep on being consistent so make sure i like comment subscribe share and turn on this post notification so i get updated for every video and so y'all continue to you know be locked in with your boy so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna get straight into this goodness i'm very very excited y'all put me on to this one magic johnson and larry bird on letterman i know it's gonna be great you know film y'all we all know about magic and larry you know rival 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 rivals turn friends and you know just the competitive nature they had we all love it they literally the ones that transformed the nba into what it is today um and yeah i'm very very sad i know it's gonna be a good one so <laughs> let's get locked into this one let's get straight into it let's go I, I, I want to tell you something. We've been doing this show a, a long time, and uh, I'm, I'm really, uh, I don't know what to say. This is something for me, and I hope it is. For You're me. hyped up, and yeah, I am too. I haven't been this excited. I'm excited too. Remember when Nancy Reagan did the walk-on and, and, and the spit oh, take? Oh, that was exciting. That was big, yeah, yeah, I thought that Not, was yeah, it. Nothing yeah. like this. But no, this, yeah. Uh, it's a whole different league. Our first guests are NBA legends. Uh, their rivalry forever changed the game of basketball. Their relationship is the focus of a new uh, Broadway play entitled Magic Bird, which opened earlier tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Larry Bird and Urban Magic. The glow, the glow. <laughs> I saw the um, the documentary the two of you did, and I guess it was produced by HBO. I'm yeah. right about that. Uh, I found it compelling. I found it moving. Uh, I found that there's so much hu humanity in the, in the production, and uh, it stayed with me for quite some time. Now, uh, you guys lived those lives. When when you saw the documentary, did you have the same feelings, or was it just, oh yeah, that's that's us, that's what we did? Yeah, they did a great job of capturing our feelings and uh, how we feel about one another. But it's really all about the competition. I mean, even today, if we could do something to co compete against one another, I still like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bird is always on that shit. I love it. It's just in his blood, bro. That competitive nature. Magic, you feel the same way? Oh, I feel exactly the same way. I, I wish we could compete against each mm -hmm. other right now. Well, you know I, what you could do is you could go out and buy a baseball team now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. I thought, about, I thought about buying the Cardinals, but after finding out, uh, I found out Urban paid over two billion for the Dodgers. I know the Cardinals are worth at least five hundred billion. That's, that's, a, that's, a yeah. that's crazy stuff. Uh, it's, uh, when uh, you guys uh, knew each other uh, earlier, you know, everybody knows about the, uh, the NCAA championship game, 1979, do I have that date right? But you guys actually played as in some sort of, was it an amateur uh, summer tournament or like that? Where was that? When was that? Well, it was in Kentucky, and uh, that's the first time probably in both our lives that we actually sat on the bench. And I don't mm. think neither one of us liked that at all, but... Uh, <laughs> That's because crazy. we were on the bench, David, and we got a chance to play against the starters every day and mm -hmm. at, at nighttime at practice. And Larry and I were so upset, we took it out on the starters. Right. We, <clears throat> so we beat them every single day, right? Wow. But uh, Larry was a special cat because it proved to me this man could really play basketball. I'd heard about him, but I never 
saw him play live and in person, and uh, he was incredible. I mean, uh, he dominated, and that's what it's all about. So I went back home telling everybody, oh, this Larry Bird guy is for real. Right. And you, but you guys were kids then. I mean, you're a little older than Magic, but you were, what, 17, 18, 19 in that range right in there when that happened? I think I was 19. Yeah. Uh, 19 or 20, you're probably 18 or yeah, 19. Yeah. yeah, and you were, from the beginning, and correct me if I get any of this wrong, uh, because it's your life and, you, well, you guys ought to know. Uh, <laughs> you said you ought to know. Uh, Magic, were you inclined early on to b become friends with this guy because you, you were drawn to him because of his uh, basketball abilities? Was, was, at first he was. Did you want to be friends with him? Before from he the... says it, I'm pretty sure at first he wasn't. And, but it's crazy, isn't it crazy, though, that the fact that they were literally on the bench, and we all know, like, back in high school or college, high school, whatever, like, when you're on the bench, or if you were on the bench, you faced the starters type shit. And the fact that they were so mad about it that they just whooped the starters' ass, that's crazy. The fact that imagine that these two were on the bench is crazy. But yeah, um, but no, nah, they, they had beef at first. I remember, I'm pretty sure they had beef at first. And then the friendship kind of extended because of the respect they had for each other's game. But let's see what he yeah, says. Yeah. And you were, from the beginning, and correct me if I get any of this wrong, uh, because it's your life and, well, you guys ought to know. You ought to know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Magic, were you inclined early on to b become friends with this guy because you, you were drawn to him because of his uh, basketball abilities? Was, was, we, did you want to be friends with him from the beginning? From the beginning, I wanted to be friends, but Larry didn't want n none oh, of that. <laughs> Never mind, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, Magic did, but Larry didn't. That's what it was. My bad, I'm wrong. They didn't, they weren't, but it was because more because Bird didn't want to be. Yeah, he's right. With him from the beginning? From the beginning, I wanted to be friends, but Larry didn't want n none of that. <laughs> Facts, so, facts, 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 facts. <laughs> you know. And so I, I said, okay, if that's how it's going to be, then we have to be like that. <laughs> that's a good person to disliking him, too. <laughs> he said, that's how it's going to be. But, you know, he told me that, you know, I smiled all the time, and he knew that uh, I, I will smile at you, but I want to cut your heart out at the uh -huh. same yeah. time. So. Yeah. He knew that that was part of my strategy right. to get him, lure him in as my so, friend. So he, he didn't want to show, demonstrate any weakness by becoming your friend. Now, did you feel what, his advances to being a friend and you just rejected them? You were not interested? You didn't like him? I mean, what was, what was your side of it's not, that? It's not like one more girlfriends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you say advances, I get a little scared. Advance. <laughs> but, uh, Bird is you know, funny my, as hell. My thing was when you compete, you're really not friends. You, you want to keep an edge. And I was like that through high school and through college. But Irving is an outgoing guy. He loves everybody. He wants to high five. And, you know, and he got that big, big smile. My goal was to try to take three of them teeth home with me. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this video so far. This is just part one. In Indiana, uh, uh, Michigan, a uh, uh, same generation of, of basketball, uh, similar players, identical players, similar uh, ideology about playing. Anything to do with the Midwest or the times that you guys came from? I, I think it's the Midwest, and I, I think uh, when you think about Indiana high school basketball, I mean, everybody says it's the best. You think about Michigan, we're right there with Indiana, and I saw our how we were taught to play the game, both Larry and I, and then the way we wanted to play the game as individuals. And yeah. so we're mirrors of each other. Uh, I may smile a little bit more, but <laughs> <laughs> the way we played the game of basketball was exactly the same mm -hmm. because we would do anything to win. We didn't care about scoring points. We cared about winning the game and making our teammates better. Mm. And that's why I think that, you know, oh, thank you. Yeah. We were able to change not only basketball, but we were able to change the NBA too, and so that yeah, was great. I, for I want to talk about that in, in a little bit, but Facts. so now you guys meet the first time in this uh, summer league tournament, whatever it was. The, the next time is for the NCAA championship. Is that right? What what, what did that? Uh, and it was like a ten point loss. Am I right, Larry? Well, it, it was ten point. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> He said, damn, no, I can't. He said, damn. More like a 20 point loss. But you know, when you're out there playing and you get started in these games, sometimes you go, uh oh, these guys are pretty good. Right. And I had that feeling at halftime that yeah. these guys were too much for us. Now, now at, at the beginning of the game, did you meet uh, Irvin uh, there? Why? <laughs> 
Do you do you remember trying to talk to uh, Larry before the game? Nope. Yeah. It's a championship game. I, they they all learned your lesson. I learned my lesson, and uh, it's championship at game. that time. He was going after something I wanted bad, and I was going after something he wanted bad. So we didn't want to talk. We wanted to get it on and see who was the best. And, right. and, and in terms of uh, basketball, in terms of your career, in terms of your life and championships, what did losing that championship mean to you, and how did it affect yeah, you? Yeah, that's the toughest one I've ever taken um, because you know you had all your friends. Um, you're at a college. It's really when you step away from home. I, I felt. Um, in uh, Indiana State, they, they accepted me, brought me in. Um, it was tough, and it's still tough. Yeah. But uh, still, still tough today. Damn, yeah. I, this video is amazing. I can't wait to get the part two of this one joint. But damn, this one I, again. I, I love all the bird videos I get to you know. But, but this one especially on Letterman, Magic and Bird, obviously talking and obviously with Letterman, bro. This one is amazing right here. But this is this is goodness, right? This is this is greatness. You got right all here. your friends. Um, you're at a college. It's really when you step yeah, away from home. He never got to win a I championship felt, for his college. Uh, yeah. In uh, Indiana State, they they accepted me, brought me in. Um, it was tough, and it's still tough. Yeah. But uh, still, still okay, tough so. today. Yes. Yeah. And, but, and how, how about you, Magic? What did winning that title mean for you? <laughs> oh, well, damn. You know, you just heard him. It's still tough for him. <laughs> That's cold. I love this. Back to Larry Bird. That's cold. That's cold. That's cold. Sheesh, though. Sheesh, 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 sheesh. That was crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I watched, we watched a good amount of Bird on, video, on this channel. We still got a lot more to get to. But that, was, man, that might have been one of my favorite videos. We watch, Obviously, we watch highlights. We watch NBA Legends talking about them. But this them talking back and forth. And just talking about their experiences, talking about their come ups, talking about how they felt about different things, what they went through, and just this and that. It was just, damn, I was just completely locked into that one, bro. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That was probably one of my favorite ones. Let me know how y'all feel about this one, bro, but I thoroughly enjoyed this one heavily. But that's the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. More videos to drop very, very soon. Uh, you know, I love, I love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all for all the support, all the love y'all been giving me, bro. That's why I keep on being consistent with these videos. I ain't gonna lie, but probably in a, in a minute. This has probably been the most consistent I've been on my YouTube channel. I mean, I've been on YouTube for a while, but in terms of just being locked in, in terms of just wanting to make sure I show out constantly for y'all, this is probably at this moment right here has probably been the most consistent I've been, and I just have a vision. I'm just gonna keep being crazy consistent. I'm gonna keep doing this shit forever for y'all. I've told y'all that I'm never gonna stop YouTube. Y'all know the grind, it never stops. So um, just thank y'all for all the love I support y'all been giving me. Thank y'all for always showing off for my videos. It really means the most to me. Seeing y'all view my view my videos, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that. It really, it really just fills my heart. It really does. You feel me? Because you know y'all don't have to do any of that for me, but y'all still do because y'all fuck with the boys. So I can't do nothing help but but really just appreciate that and just thank y'all so much always. But that's the video. I don't want to talk y'all heads out too much. Thank y'all for joining. Like, comment, subscribe, share for more videos and more very more bird and magic coming very very soon. Soon. Part two coming very very soon as well, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's your, it's your boy King Supreme. We out of this bitch.